Well, as we continue our coverage of the Marshall Fire, we wanted to talk to Denver 7 Evening anchor Shannon Ogden. Shannon, you were here in the studio at that anchor desk for hours upon hours that day. Take me back. What, what stood out to you as you see this event just unfold? So really only a couple of times in my career have I reported on a tragedy that resulted in the worst case scenario. Luckily, and I'm thinking like, say, 9-11. You've got the hijackers crash the planes into the towers, but then the towers fell. Mm -hmm. So that moment, like, a tragedy couldn't get worse, and then it becomes more tragic. And this was maybe one of maybe three times ever in my almost 30-year career reporting on things that it was worst case scenario. I remember sitting right at that anchor desk with Jessica Porter, and obviously it was bad, it was horrible, but you couldn't believe when, because so many things have to go exactly a certain way for it to be worst case scenario, and it was. You had bone dry conditions, you had hurricane force winds, um, and you had a wildland fire that got into a town or towns. And, and when those numbers came over of truly the, the, the scope of destru destruction, you had no place to put that in your mind, that it was going to be over a thousand homes that, that were. And, and so that, that's, that's one of the things that strikes me most. Because worst case, it, it never, I mean, as awful as things are, it's, it's never worst case. And this was worst case. And, and, and that was, it was so heartbreaking. And also, uh, I'll never forget one of the images from that night is that it was getting late, so it was already dark, and our camera had a vantage point kind of elevated, looking down, and all these fires, and it was so awful. But then all these Christmas lights everywhere, and the incongruity of that, of this time of peace and celebration and families was, was happening when, when all these families, everything was were, were just gone. And, 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 and that, that was so crazy. Like, Again, the incongruity of, of, of peace and joy and, and, and celebration and complete devastation. And we've covered so much of that since. All, all of the bad, all, all of the, the utter destruction of these neighborhoods that just got leveled by this fire. But there's also been a lot of positivity, a lot of things sure. that have actually come through this community. You know, we, we throw it out there a lot. The community comes together. But like this, it happened. What stands out to you on that front? Well, I mean, just the sheer volume of, of the money that we were able to raise. I mean, I personally handed over a check for $300,000 to, to this, this group to, uh, who's doing such good work over there. And, and it, it's such a wonderful problem to have when, when we have all this money and it becomes like, how do we give this away? A great problem to have. And, you know, that, that only happens with, with such generous people. So that, that, was always, um, that was always moved me so much. But, but really, both in the, in the tragedy and also in the uh, generosity, for me, it was the, the small, uh, intimate gestures that, that really hit home. You know, it wasn't like in the tragedy, yes, an entire home was lost, but, you know, that, that vase from your grandmother, whatever. But I remember in the generosity, there was a family, because I, I don't know, I met dozens, 60 maybe these families uh, over the last year. And, and there was a family that came in to, to a precious child. And I, I, have, a, I have a young daughter. And, um, and they had daughters about, about my daughter's age. And all, they lost all their stuffed animals. And so that, to me, was like, oh, my gosh. That's what happened. Yeah. It wasn't they lost a house. She lost all her stuffed animals. You know, I mean, my daughter's inconsolable if she doesn't have her one particular rabbit. And, and th how many times did that, did that happen? And also that, that night, back, back to what struck me s most uh, about that, that time, because it was December 30th, it was that, I think I even said this on the air, that the Christmas trees are still up, and, and I'm sure if it was anything like my house with little kids in it, what, what those homes look like inside, still remnants of presents that, you know, had been started to play with and not uh, still around. And, and that was the night it all went away. It, it, it was just, that, it was so, so incredible that, that it actually has, has happened. And, and in the year since, and I know we're trying to be, be positive here, but most tragedies 
a thing happens, it's awful. Mm -hmm. But from the moment the thing happens, again, as awful as it is, from that moment on, the healing begins. And, and the thing is over, as awful as it was, and your life has changed. There's a slow increase. But that, that's the moment, it's over now, again, as awful as it is, and then you march forward. But that hasn't been the case for the majority of, of these people, because this tragedy was compounded by being underinsured. So, I mean, I mean think about, you, you had the horrible misfortune that your whole house that you've worked for, that you, your financial everything, your, your domestic everything, is now gone. And then you go, well, that was awful. Let's rebuild. And then they go, no, you can't afford it. I mean, that, that's happened to how many scores of these people? That's what breaks my heart, is that through no fault of their own, they, they, they can't go back. And, and I'm not saying, like, you can never go back. But, I mean, they, they can't even rebuild because you can't afford it. And, I mean, what a, what a horrible tragedy on top, uh, on top of tragedy that has been. And also, I think one of, the, one of the, the most profound lessons from this whole thing for all of us is, is to, uh, to look, look at your insurance and make sure you're, you're, you're in good shape. Because, I mean, I, I, you know, in fact, j just recently we had a, a Christmas um, event for, for these families up in, um, in Louisville. And, uh, and I talked to so many. I mean, I, there's no one I met to go, yeah, no, we were, we were covered and we're going to rebuild. No, no, not a single person I met. Yeah. So. So many stories, so much to take away from that, Dave. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah, that with my us. pleasure. Thanks.